discretion is advised. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Marley and I are up here in the mountains. This is a multi-day trip. I know a lot of you guys wanted to see a longer video, and so I figured I'd bring you guys along. We've been on the road for a good couple days, and this is our second stop. I'll give you guys more of a look of kind of what we've been up to. This is my American Air Arms Evil. This is the standard version. It's got a 15 inch barrel. It's got an integrated moderator, so it's pretty quiet. And I fill this to 4,000 PSI. It's got a titanium reservoir here, um, long bottom rail. And this is a really lightweight gun. It's really enjoyable to carry and shoulder. Um, I've got it topped with the Hawk Air Max 416 by 50. And I've got my Tacticam 5.0 on here, which I use um, to capture most all the action that you guys see. Um, but this is just a really nice gun and it's extremely accurate with the NSA 20.2 grain slugs. Um, I'm pretty comfortable with this gun out to just about 150 yards um, is what I'd say is its usable range, at least for a lot of the small game that I hunt. But we're going to take this out. We'll see what it can do. But it's just a, a beautiful location to really get out and hike around. You got it! You got it! Good girl! Wow, you dropped that bunny! Okay, so Marley and I got this good sized jack here at 92 yards across this canyon. Pretty far shot. Um, we came to a clearing at the other side and I was able to look down into that canyon. And I spotted this guy running up the other side, and I put one right in his shoulder, um, which usually takes him down right away. Um, in this case, he ran, and so I sent Marley after him, and it's really difficult um, to recover him. Uh, obviously, we've got a lot of sagebrush, a lot of really thick um, cover here, and without a dog, it's almost impossible um, to recover these, these animals because a lot of times they'll run a good couple hundred yards. And in this case, you know, it actually fractured his front leg here. And so he was essentially running on three legs. Um, but eventually they collapse and Marley was able to recover them. I, I heard her barking up here and so I was able to kind of follow that. But awesome, the Evil worked really well with those NSA slugs. It's just a really accurate gun and works really well for a lot of the, the further hunting that I do because um, you really don't have to hold over too much at, at that range. And you guys will see that from the, the scope cam footage. 
Um, but it's just a lot of fun to come up here and hunt. And, uh, you know, I always feel blessed when we have some luck um, because this place really is one of the more difficult places that I come and hunt jackrabbits. Get it! We are going to do some ground squirrel hunting, but I've got to pack a few things up in the car because we're going to move um, down the road here to a, a different spot. So I'm going to roll the footage from our previous location. You guys can check that out and then I'll bring you guys back and we'll do some ground squirrel hunting. Marley and I are up here in the Eastern Sierra Nevadas, and we got here pretty early this morning. Um, it's gotten pretty hot today. It's right around 100. And to stay cool, we decided to go and do some trout fishing along the creek here. And so it was really nice to do that. We had some luck. And so later tonight, we're gonna do some rabbit hunting. I brought with me the American Air Arms Evil. This is the standard version. And so we're gonna just wait a little bit till it cools down and then we'll head out and see if we can have some luck. Marley and I are just taking a little break right now. It's about 5.30 and it's still in the 90s. Now we thankfully do have some, some breeze coming through here, but there's little to no shade. And usually in those cases, I'll try to find a sagebrush like this. It's just enough for you to huddle next to, get some shade. We'll take a break. I, get, I bring plenty of water for myself and Marley. Um, I got my hat, I got long sleeves. And it's really important to be prepared for this type of environment. And I also have a jacket in my backpack because as we get into evening, um, it's probably going to get cold. So that was a little bizarre. Marley and I were walking along this trail and a fawn came running around the corner, saw us, kind of looked like he was being playful, and then ran back up the other trail. And then probably about 30 seconds later, two more of them came back and walked right up to us. I had my camera in my backpack and so I put my backpack down and tried to pull the camera out, but I think I may have only gotten a few seconds of them. But yeah, they were right here, um, almost within arm's reach. So that was really cool.
So I got three of these hot links for me. I shared one with Marley. And let's see how it is. Very, very good. And I think it'll go really well with the rice. Normally when I come out here I try to keep things pretty simple as far as cooking. I really bring minimal gear to cook with. I got my French press coffee maker and I have a little uh, kit here with forks and knives and plates and all that stuff. So it's kind of nice. But you really can't beat this view. It's just amazing out here. So my sleeping setup in the back of the car here is really simple. I just uh, move my front seats forward and I've got a Unigear um, inflatable pad. I've got a wool blanket. I've got my pillow. And then I brought a zero degree bag in the event that it gets cold. But I think we'll probably end up just leaving this, this open tonight. It's probably gonna be pretty nice. And if anything comes into camp, Marley will let, let me know. And one of the reasons I like using my car is simply the gas. Um, you know, my biggest expense for coming out on these trips is the gas. And my Jeep really does not do well on gas mileage. And so for me, it's a lot easier to just bring the car. Um, it's more than enough space for all my gear and Marley and I. Um, so I, I like it really simple uh, set up here. Since 2014, Hard Air Magazine has been providing fair, balanced, and honest news, reviews, and information about air guns. This year, Stephen Archer has created the Ham Community Forum, where you can participate in topics on all brands of air guns in an open and meaningful environment by air gunners for air gunners. You can speak directly with manufacturers and guys like me who use all types of air guns in the field. To gain the full benefits of the ham community, all you need to do is register, introduce yourself, and start contributing. It's quick, easy, and of course it's free. I'll leave a link in the description box and I hope to see you there. So Marley and I are slowly working our way up through this canyon here. Um, it's got a lot of fell trees, a lot of debris. Um, there's probably rabbits in here as well. Um, but we're just looking for a spot that we can sit down and have a pretty good vantage point of where some of these ground squirrels are. And when I'm walking, you know, I'm looking around. A lot of times they'll scurry off the logs and that gives me a pretty good idea of, um, you know, a location that I can kind of set myself up. Marley and I found a pretty nice spot here in the shade. 
about 40 yards in front of us we've got an embankment with some burrows that I can see and then it's got a fell tree and so the ground squirrels really like that type of habitat a lot of times you'll see them sunning themselves on top of the, the fallen branches and and logs and it offers a pretty good opportunity to be able to take a few One of the reasons I like to hike these dry creek beds is because you will come across water source. Um, Mario loves to swim in these little pools, especially on a day where it's pretty warm and, and she just wants to cool herself down. It is pretty, it's much greener in these areas. And from my experience, um, you're gonna see a lot more animal activity um, in and around um, where you'll find these pools. A lot of people ask why we hunt these ground squirrels. And this fell tree is a prime example of the damage that they can cause. They like to burrow around the base of these trees and ultimately it causes problems with the root systems. And then when it rains, um, it really just rots everything out and in a few years they fall over. And this particular forest here really got decimated with the ground squirrels. Uh, about 10 years ago and so Marley and I have been coming out here and really kind of thinning out the population and it is you know one of my favorite spots at least for natural habitat um, to be able to come out and hunt them. <laughs> So I really like coming out to this area. It's a really good spot for hunting in natural terrain. And I have had a lot of luck here with jackrabbits, with cottontails, and a lot of ground squirrels out here. And thankfully it's not terribly hot today. It's probably in the mid to high 80s. And we got a breeze. And so that really kind of helps out, especially when you sit in the shade. Well guys, I really hope you enjoyed coming along with Marley and I this past couple days. We did cover a lot of ground and it was nice to get up into the Sierras, do some fishing and get to explore a new area. And I was excited this morning to be able to get a jackrabbit and we were able to take down quite a few of those ground squirrels as well. The evil worked extremely well. You guys know I really enjoy this gun. Um, for the type of hunting that I do, I think it's ideal. But if you guys are interested in any of the gear we use, I'll leave links in the description for you guys to check out. Or you guys can contact Air Guns of Arizona. They're very familiar with this platform and I'm sure they'd be able to answer any questions. But I really appreciate you guys and I look forward to seeing you guys on the next adventure.